Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about token freshness. We're going to be refreshing tokens in our REST API using Flask JWT Extended, but of course, we need to know what a fresh token is first. What does it mean to refresh a token? Have you ever seen something that looks more or less like this? You're logged in in a website and you're just browsing along without a problem and suddenly you get asked to confirm your password to continue or to enter your uh, credentials again just to make sure that you are you. This normally happens when you are just browsing along and then you want to do something that's a bit more critical. For example, maybe you want to change your password or maybe you want to delete something in your account that's maybe important. In this case, uh, I was on GitHub wanting to delete an existing repository and GitHub asked me for my password to continue. Why do they do that? The answer is they do it because they realize that I am logged in, but I haven't given them my username and password for a few days. So although it's unlikely somebody has stolen my computer, it is possible. So when I'm doing something quite critical, they want to make sure that it, it really is me and it's not that the very unlikely scenario that somebody else has stolen my device. So in these cases, they want what's called a fresh token. They want to make sure that I am me. So what happens is that you're already logged in, but you have to enter your password again. So here we go. What you need is a fresh token. And this is more or less the flow, okay? You start off at the left where you log in, and when you log in, as soon as you log in, you enter your username and password, what you have is a fresh token. Then you browse along, uh, you check out a couple of pages, not a problem, and then maybe you leave and, and you know, you go away. You come back the next day, one day later, and you continue browsing, and that's fine. Your token has expired, the initial token that you got when you logged in, that has expired, but the website or the mobile app automatically realizes that you're still logged in, you're gonna uh, refresh your token, you're going to use the information that you already have on file to uh, realize that you're still logged in. It's unlikely that somebody has stolen your device, so they can still let you browse around the website. What would happen here is that you would have refreshed your token. Okay, we're going to look at exactly how to refresh a token in the next couple of videos. But what the website would do in this case is the initial token has expired. You are about to continue browsing. They don't want to ask you for your username and password again because, you know, asking for that every day is quite cumbersome. So what they do is they refresh your token. They use the information they already have on file to issue you a new access token completely free of charge or without having to enter your username and password again. But then let's say that after browsing, you want to go and change your password. That's a critical operation. So because it's been a while since you gave your details, this website may now wonder whether is it really you or is it someone else? You know, because it's not every day that you change your password, right? So in that case, instead of going straight to the password change a site, they'll ask you to enter your password again. This entering the password again allows them to know that it is you. And then you can go ahead and change your password. The way we're going to replicate this using Flask JWT Extended is precisely with token refreshing. So for as long as we can, we are going to be refreshing tokens. Essentially, as soon as the initial token expires, we will refresh it and issue a new one. And when that one expires, we will refresh it and issue a new one, and so on, until they do something critical. By the time they do something critical, we will know whether the token they are currently using to do that is a token that was generated from logging in, or is it a token that was generated from refreshing? Okay, so if the token itself doesn't expire after a few hours, 
uh, the the token that you get when you log in doesn't expire after a few hours, you'll you'll see something like this. So you, it says here you're entering pseudo mode. We won't ask for your password again for a few hours. That we can replicate by not allowing our tokens to expire for a few hours. Okay. Up until this point, we had what's called a non-fresh token. That is a token that was generated from refreshing as opposed to from giving our username and password. As soon as we type our password in, now we have a fresh token. With a fresh token, we can know that this is the person we think it is. Without a fresh token, maybe their device got stolen or something like that. In this case, you can see GitHub won't ask you for your password again for a few hours. That's because, well, we can replicate that using Frosty AWT Extended by allowing our, our tokens to live for a few hours and not letting them expire. That way, we would keep a fresh token for a few hours, then we would refresh and we would no longer have a fresh token. The next time we want to do something like this, we would have to ask the user for their password again. So we get another fresh token and we revalidate the user is who they say they are. All right, so a fresh token, just to recap, is a token you've received after entering your username and password. And then the site can be confident it's you and not someone else. A non-fresh token is a token you've received by refreshing a previous token. We're going to look at how to do refreshing in the next couple of videos, so stay tuned and I'll see you there.